Day four of the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. We're still in Alice Springs and all the teams are about to get going on their way to Adelaide. Today, we're gonna to follow the cruiser class. Let's see what action today brings. Okay, we're here with the team from KGHM Woods and uh, this is the solar team. They're doing a fantastic job in the cruiser class. How's it all been going for you so far? Uh, so far, is, everything is correct. We are happy that uh, we could uh, go to Alice Springs. Uh, we found any problem, especially uh, we had one uh, more stop uh, which wasn't uh, in our schedule, as, but it was only one, uh, especially. So we are really uh, happy that everything is correct, everything is like uh, in our plans. So. Now everything is uh, like we planned. Yeah, fantastic. And Paul, if I can ask you, mate, you guys are running the Bridgestone Ecopia with our Logic tyres. Exactly. How have they been performing for you? Yeah, they are doing well. They are really durable and they are giving us a perfect uh, rolling resistance. So we are happy with them and we, it's really nice to have them yeah, here. Fantastic. Yeah, they're fantastic. Well, guys, it's day four and uh, good luck with the road ahead and we'll see you guys in Adelaide. Two, one. The thing that people are most amazed by is the speed of these vehicles, in particular the Challenger class. These cars can actually go faster than the speed limits here in Australia will allow. The other thing that people are always fascinated by or ask me is, yeah, but will this technology really end up in my driveway anytime soon? And I think the Cruiser class is the one to focus on for that answer. Because these cars can carry multiple passengers, have stereos, handbrakes, can do reverse. They really are a passenger vehicle. So people talk about these cars being the cars of the future. But in all honesty, I think the future is much closer than people think. Well, that sees an end to day four of the 2015 Bridgestone World Solar Challenge. Right now I'm sprinting to Adelaide to get to the finish line to greet the first cars across the line. But I've got to say, this is the first time I've been involved in this World Solar Challenge and it has opened my eyes incredibly wide. The, the teams are all so different. Some teams have nearly 40 members and some teams have under 10 members. But they all share one thing, an enormous amount of enthusiasm and passion. This thing's called a challenge for a very good reason. It throws, throws up so many hurdles and challenges for them, but all the teams, no matter how big or small, overcome the challenges so incredibly well, and they do it as a team, and I think it's fantastic. Bridgestone have been behind this because they love supporting youth and technology and sustainability, and it's all on display here, but the teamwork and the camaraderie is amazing. They should all be incredibly proud. So the next time you see me, I'm gonna be on the finish line to see them across the line, and I have gotta be honest, I'm excited for them, and I can't wait. Wait.